Kaohsiung Railway Underground Project commenced in 2009, with the first phase being the Kaohsiung City Area Plan, the second phase the extension to Zhuang Plan, and the third phase the extension to Fengshan Plan, which was inaugurated in 2018. The scope of the project extended from south of Dajong Second Road in Zhuang to the west side of Daji Overpass in Fengshan. The previous episode introduced the evolution of the Kaohsiung Station and the new underground Kaohsiung Station. This episode will continue to discuss the Kaohsiung City Area Railway Underground Plan, including the Love River Segment Taiwan Railway Underground Project, Kaohsiung Station Underground Project, and the newly established and reinstated stations. The entire 15.37 km Kaohsiung Railway Underground Project primarily uses the cut-and-cover construction method, including building tunnels and 10 underground stations. To meet construction needs, the construction necessitated the establishment of two temporary stations, namely Zhuoing Station and Fengshan Station. The construction involves digging a single-bore, double-track tunnel using the cut-and-cover method heading south, in coordination with an internal support system design. A temporary track is first laid next to the existing tracks, then a permanent track tunnel is constructed beneath the cleared existing tracks, followed by shifting the tracks underground. The urban area of Kaohsiung has long been divided by the railway, hindering urban development on both sides of the tracks, and the noise and vibrations have long affected the quality of life of residents. The Railway Underground Project not only integrates urban development and enhances the land use value of the city but also improves the living environment for the citizens. The Kaohsiung Plan is divided into east and west sections and the Kaohsiung Station Project. The west section starts from Zhenghua First Road and heads east near the Guyen Elementary School, crossing underneath the Love River and ending at Harbin Street. The east section starts around Minzu First Road at Minzu Station and extends to Changqing Road near Zhangyi Station. The Kaohsiung Station Underground Project mainly includes the Taiwan Railway's Kaohsiung Station, the Metro R11 permanent station, and east-west tunnels with a total length of 1,250 meters. The R11 permanent station is located very close to the operational Kaohsiung Metro Shield Tunnel, at a minimum distance of only 1.2 meters, and reaches a digging depth of 32.64 meters. This makes it the deepest underground excavation project in Taiwan that is closest to an operational shield tunnel. Since the Kaohsiung Station Underground Project is located within the operational area of Taiwan Railway's Kaohsiung Station, an alternate lane construction method for bulkheads was adopted to maintain station operations. Initially, the station was switched to operate on the south side tracks 1 to 8, allowing the construction of the north side bulkheads. Subsequently, the station switched to the north side tracks 9 to 15 for constructing the south side bulkheads. To minimize the deformation of the bulkheads causing subsidence and displacement of the shield tunnel, 11 horizontal diaphragm walls were installed alongside the bulkheads. The shield tunnel also features an automatic monitoring system that continuously monitors changes 24-7, marking a first in domestic engineering projects. After completing all the bulkheads, excavation began immediately. A construction platform was set up on the south side of the work area for easy removal of excavated earth and material hoisting. To reduce lateral displacement of the shield tunnel, the support levels were placed only 2.5 meters apart. Therefore, deeper corridors were excavated in the middle as construction passages. The horizontal diaphragm walls were gradually cut and broken layer by layer using a non-vibration method. After starting the excavation of the south side, supports were immediately installed, followed by the excavation and support installation on the north side. This process was then repeated with the next stage, involving the middle construction passage and further excavation on the south side. This cycle continued until the excavation reached a depth of 32.64 meters, marking the deepest excavation in the Kaohsiung Railway Underground Project. Upon reaching the final depth, the fourth layer base slab, sidewalls, 
and roof slab structures were sequentially commenced, progressively completing the fourth layer structure. Subsequently, the end walls between the temporary and permanent stations were penetrated using a non-vibration method, followed by finishing works and track laying. After switching from the temporary shield tunnel to permanent track operation, construction above the third underground level continued. The former temporary shield tunnel location was filled with controlled low-strength materials, and all casing cutting piles were used to remove the shield tunnel along the diaphragm wall positions of the Taiwan Railways Tunnel, continuing the construction of diaphragm walls to the design depth to complete the decommissioning of the Metro Temporary Shield Tunnel. The completed underground integrated operation Kaohsiung Station includes the Metro Station on the fourth underground floor, the Taiwan Railways and Metro Transfer Level on the third underground floor, the Taiwan Railways Station Platform Level on the second underground floor, and the Concourse Level on the first underground floor. The Kaohsiung Railway Underground Project across the Love River spans three major roads, Hashi First Road, Tongmeng Third Road, and Shizhong First Road, with a total length of approximately 410 meters. Beneath the roads, there is a complex network of public utility lines intersecting, and above the road, there are elevated cross-bridge structures. This phase of the project involves crossing the Love River. Due to conflicts between the construction of the permanent rail tunnel and the existing Love River Railway Bridge, a temporary rail bridge needed to be constructed. Located north of the existing railway bridge, this temporary rail bridge structure features pilebent pier to minimize water blockage risks and disturbances to the soil layer. The temporary rail bridge was constructed first, followed by the demolition of the old railway bridge. The construction of the permanent rail tunnel beneath the Love River involves tunnel excavation under the riverbed. Before construction could begin, it was necessary to relocate the gates of the Xinglong intersection station that conflicted with the tunnel's path. Additionally, sewer pipes along the banks of the Love River that interfered with the diaphragm walls required the construction of turning manholes to reroute the sewer system. This phase involved the installation of steel pipe pile shoring for earth retention. Steel sheet piling was used to create a cofferdam for water retention. After dewatering and setting up supports, excavation commenced. The old railway bridge pile foundations were then removed, and a riverbed slab was constructed before the cofferdam was dismantled. This completed the first phase of construction, and a water retaining wall was reserved for the third phase. Following this, excavation proceeded beneath the riverbed slab, moving from the shore towards the center of the river. The excavation was carried out layer by layer down to the bottom, with supports installed throughout. Once the excavation was complete, the main body of the tunnel was constructed. Subsequently, a second phase cofferdam for water retention was constructed on the opposite bank. Following the same steps as the first phase, dewatering and support installation, the riverbed slab construction proceeded, with another water retaining wall reserved for the third phase. A third phase cofferdam was then erected in the middle of the river. After dewatering and setting up supports, excavation proceeded directly to the bottom where the base slab was constructed. Following this, the riverbed slab was built. After the riverbed slab was completed in the third phase, the tunnel below was sequentially broken through layer by layer. Finally, excavation proceeded from the other side of the road downward, with supports installed and the main body of the tunnel constructed. This marked the completion of the railway tunnel construction across the Love River and land segments. The Kaohsiung City Area Plan includes five stations, Museum of Fine Arts Station, Gushan Station, San Quechuo Station, Minzu Station, and Science and Technology Museum Station. Among these, Museum of Fine Arts Station, Minzu Station, and Science and Technology Museum Station are newly established, while Gushan Station and San Quechuo Station are reinstated. Located on Suehua Road in Gushan District, Taiwan Railways Museum of Fine Arts Station was inaugurated in October 2018, and the Metro Circular Light Rail TRA Museum of Fine Arts Station opened in December 2021. 
The station is located near two schools, Juru Primary School and Dayang Senior High School, and also close to Minxiang Park and Qinghai Park for public recreation and exercise. Museum of Fine Arts Station is a two-level underground station. The ground floor serves as the platform level for the Metro Circular Light Rail with two side platforms and features a permanent public art installation titled Eternal Praise at the entrance. The first underground floor is the concourse level for Taiwan Railways Museum of Fine Arts Station, and the second underground floor is the platform level, equipped with two island platforms. The layout of the platform level includes four sets of tracks flanking the two island platforms, making it the only station with waiting tracks between the Xingzuoing Station and Kaohsiung Station. The station structure showcases a lightweight water wave design and artistic wind. Water beauty is the central theme of its design. Gushan Station is located on Railway Street in Gushan District. It is part of the Railway Underground Project, serving both the Taiwan Railway's Western Trunk Line and the Kaohsiung Circular Light Rail. Taiwan Railway's Gushan Station was inaugurated in October 2018, and the Metro Circular Light Rail Gushan Station opened in December 2021. Nearby the station are Yuyuan Hang Temple, Guyen Primary School, and the former Tangrong Brick Kiln. Gushan Station is a two-level underground station. The ground level accommodates the Metro Circular Light Rail platforms with two side platforms. The first underground floor is the Taiwan Railways Station Concourse level, and the second underground floor is the platform level with two side platforms. The station design is inspired by Yuyuan Hang Temple, the sounds of the bells and drums from Shoshan, and railway memories. It features mountain shapes and rhythmic drum curves, which blend seamlessly with the landscape's contours. Consequently, drum sounds and water beauty is chosen as the thematic imagery for the design. San Quechuo Station is located on Kongping Street in Sanmin District. The original station was decommissioned in 1986 due to a decline in passenger numbers and is currently designated as a municipal historic site of Kaohsiung City. The station was rebuilt and reopened in 2018. Nearby amenities include Sanmin Elementary School and Debei Park. San Quechuo Station is a two-level underground station with the ground floor serving as the station entrance and exit. The first underground floor is the concourse level, and the second underground floor is the platform level with two side platforms. The new station is designed to reflect the historic San Quechuo Station with a nostalgic style, featuring a phoenix soaring water dance theme, and adopts a low-rise, open design, blending unobtrusively into the green surroundings. Located on Kaixian First Road in Sanmin District, Taiwan Railway's Minzu Station opened in October 2018, and construction for the Metro Yellow Line started in 2023. The station is near Xinqing Park, which is available for local residents to use for sports and recreation. Minzu Station is a four-level underground station. The ground floor serves as the entrance and exit. The first underground floor is the concourse level, the second underground floor is the platform level, and it features two side platforms. The station adopts microcosm as its exploration theme. Above the entrance, a vibrant large-scale mural titled Realm of Blossoms depicts the graceful forms of southern flowers, birds, and insects fluttering elegantly, creating a colorful and splendid visual spectacle. As passengers enter the station, they are met with a scene reminiscent of beautiful summer scenery. The underground space of the station is decorated in a diverse color style, with walls featuring blocks of colors complemented by images of different chemical elements. This design gives the station a combined feel of a laboratory and an art studio, reminiscent of a small gallery atmosphere. Science and Technology Museum Station is located on Dishun Third Road in the Sanmin District. Taiwan Railway's Science and Technology Museum Station opened in October 2018, and the Metro Circular Light Rail Station followed in January 2024. The station is adjacent to the National Science and Technology Museum, which hosts numerous exhibitions. Nearby are three schools, St. Dominic Catholic High School, Kaohsiung Special Education School, and Lingya District Kaizuan Primary School. 
Science and Technology Museum Station is a four-level underground station, with the ground floor serving as the entrance and exit and the Metro Circular Light Rail platform. The first underground floor is the concourse level for Taiwan Railways, and the second underground floor is the platform level, which features two side platforms. The above-ground structure of the station is similar to Minzu Station. The underground space is adorned with decorations of DNA helix chains, which resonate with the name Science and Technology Museum Station, reflecting its thematic focus. The Kaohsiung City Area Railway Underground Plan is a formidable task, especially the Kaohsiung Station Underground Project, which requires maintaining normal station operations during construction. For the Love River Segment Tunnel Project, besides ensuring smooth train passage during construction, it also needs to consider the overlapping issue between the old Love River Railway Bridge and the tunnel under the riverbed. Moreover, construction must not disrupt the flow of the Love River. These challenges make the railway underground construction process in Kaohsiung face numerous difficulties. However, with their rich experience, the project personnel have overcome all obstacles by adopting various special construction methods, ultimately bringing a new look and prosperity to Kaohsiung. Their spirit is truly admirable and worthy of emulation and learning. This episode introduces the engineering projects and stations of the Kaohsiung plan. In the next episode, we will continue with the discussion of the Zhuoing and Fengshan Railway Underground Extension Projects. Stay tuned!